some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Yuma, Arizona with the frauditor known as Michael Norton, a.k.a. Cult News, as he attempts to audit a school board and ends up getting himself trespassed because of his, uh, well, rather deranged attitude problem. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Hey everybody, KULT News back again with another video. Today we're in <clears throat> what the Guinness Book of World Records calls the sunniest city on earth. You know where that is? Yuma, Arizona. Yuma has a population of, well at least in 2020, had a population of 95,548 people. Okay. Um, we are... Uh, Walking down the street, minding our own business. There's a school district over here. We thought we'd pop in and audit that and see how, uh, we'll see if they recognize and respect our right to take photos and videos in public and in publicly accessible places. Oh, let's rock and roll. Yeah, you major league douche canoe. Why don't you go ahead and harass the local school district and see what happens? You do realize, though, if you go into a school district, it has a different set of laws attached to it because you know they're trying to protect the children. But, of course, you frauditors really don't care about that. Well, I do, and uh, I did look up those statutes, and, uh, well... I'll be presenting them here in a little bit as we go along. So buckle up, it's gonna be a wild ride of stupidity with this complete and total moron. Yeah, I'm really shocked myself that uh, people like you don't even know what the law is or is all about or anything like that. I mean, it is so easy to look them up and realize, huh, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. But I guess that's why you guys have criminal records to begin with, because you reject the law to begin with. It's all about anarchy for most of you. Wow, how cute is that? Hey, how are you? That's freaking adorable. Is that the old Jack and Jill things? I actually don't need any help. I, oh, you don't have a drinking fountain right here, do you? Yeah, I gotta get it. Just fill up a water bottle. Thanksgiving is coming up. I was looking at the pumpkins. Yeah. Like, oh, is it, thanks it is Thanksgiving time, isn't it? Yeah, next week. Jeez, holy cow. You see, it's flying by. Flying by. Do, do, do. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. How many school districts does you you may have? Are there like three? Yes, no? Um there's they, yeah, there's multiple districts. Who are you here with? I am with the press. Just came here to get some photos. They're doing a story on the school district and I was sent over here to get some shots. Who are you set by, ma'am? I'm sorry? Who who are you with? Uh, just with the press. I, I can't tell you who I work for because I can compromise the story. Um... Yeah, that's the usual line that these frauditors give out. I can't tell you who I'm with because they'll compromise the story. Yeah, try some new material, Mikey. In fact, why don't you try telling the truth for once and maybe you'll get some actual cooperation out of these people sometimes. Oh wait, no, that wouldn't work for you. That wouldn't create the conflict that you're looking for. That wouldn't create all the trespassing charges that you have to deal with. Am I right? Have you coordinated a visit with anybody here that can help you out? No, no, I don't need to interview anybody. I'm just a photographer. So, nope, nope, nothing like that. So I won't be here all day. Human resources. Yep. No, just getting a few shots. Of the inside of our building? Yes. But you're not able at liberty to tell us what this is for? That would compromise the story, so I cannot actually know. Okay. Um, well, I, yeah, I would just not recommend you taking pictures of our human resources department. No, I don't plan on going in there, but... 
Is that uh, for employees back there only, or, or is yes. it accessible no, to it is not. the general it is, public? It is not accessible to the general public, excuse me. Oh, looks like they have a, like a little lobby thing here with cards, so you're saying I can't step in here and grab a card? That is exactly right. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they should probably keep the door shut if they don't want people taking photos in there, I would think. I mean, there's business cards like right there. So you're saying people can't walk in here and grab a card? That's exactly right. That's why we have our main lobby here. Interesting. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. You're accusing her of blatantly lying. Sure, you didn't go in there, but you frauditors, especially you, uh, Mikey boy, are known for being, well, huge ass liars. But at any rate, keep talking, you gibbering idiot. Uh, dig your hole even deeper. Yeah, they should probably keep those cards out here where people can actually access them. I would think, but you know, that's, that's just me. Mm -hmm. Could you still get Mr. Shepard or Dr. Alka? Yeah, thank you. Are you okay? Everything okay? Well, I would have to say this has never occurred before where we have somebody coming into our lobby to take photos without um, disclosing who they're with. You've never had the press before. in here before? Um, well, I work with the press, so ah. they contact me. So. Ah, gotcha. That's the uh, the mainstream media that gets permission to to cover stories and, and what have you. So, um, no, that's an ethical journalist who knows what they're doing. So that way they don't go into an area like this that might have restrictions upon anybody coming in there that is not uh, supposed to be in there, such as somebody who's not employed there, who might pose a risk to people there. Speaking of which, Arizona does have its own uh, school safety zone laws, just like down here in Florida. So if you have no business here, then you can be easily trespassed, more so than any other place in Arizona, you freaking idiot. So you're saying this is just the only public lobby here? You, is it not public back here, like where I went back there to the drinking fountain and the bathroom, so they're not public? Um, that's where we have our lobby here. Unfortunately, we do not have a security section, but ideally, that is correct. We do not allow folks to wander throughout the building without um, announcing our business. Gotcha. Uh, so are you like the press liaison? Are you, are you recording me? Sir? I'm always recording. Are you, uh... Well, I, I would um, appreciate you telling us who you're with and why you're recording. No can do. Uh, like I said, that could me. compromise a story. I don't know who you are, but, um... You're not, you're not giving a good first impression to start off with, I'll tell you that. You know, douchebag, first impressions go both ways. I'm sure you're not leaving a very good first impression on her either. I mean, it's all about your communication skills, and your communication skills with this first impression with her are quite piss poor at best. So is it any wonder you got trespassed from this place? It concerns me. How much money is, does this uh, school district get from taxpayers every year? Do you know? I don't. Probably a lot, I would imagine. Yeah. No, oh, no worries. No worries. I'm just. I'll stay in the public area and just get a few shots and video and be out of here. I can't imagine I'll be more, here more than an hour or two at the most. <laughs> And of course he jabbers on like this for a little while longer until other people show up and he really starts to get into gear at that point. And I do mean get into gear by rude and condescending at that point. So they try to get him to leave, but of course he's not going to do that. 3,000 years later. Okay. I'm, at a, I'm at a public lobby. We're doing a story on the school district and gathering some information. Nobody's screaming and yelling. I'm not making threats. I'm not cursing at anybody. I'm not intoxicated or on drugs. I'm in here taking photos, Christine. And if it bothers you, crazy idea, you can go back into your office and then the problem solved because you can't even see me in there. Oh, I see. So I appreciate your concern. I'm gonna continue taking photos and video in a public lobby. And if you don't like it, you can, yeah, you can go back into your little office. So, do you feel in control, uh, Mikey boy? Because, well, in reality, you don't control this area. 
They do. And they can have you trespass because of your uh, idiocy at this point. You are talking rude and condescending to them in a building they control, and they are about to call the school resource officer to take care of you. The SRO. And believe it or not, this douchebag doesn't even know what SRO means because he never bothered to do any research on, on what that means. I mean, come on now, dude. You're supposed to be a journalist. You're supposed to be able to do your research and everything like that. You should have known what the SRO was to begin with. They're the designated Leos that can kick your sorry ass off this campus, you dumbass. Uh, I appreciate how you're speaking to me. I appreciate how um, you're speaking to me. The way you were speaking and the discomfort that you're causing amongst all of us here in the, Ma'am. In the business. We are at liberty to call one of our SROs or ask you to leave. That what SRO is what? Our school resource officer. Okay, is your school resource officer empowered to remove the press from a public lobby? I'd suggest you call the police if that's what you, you think you can do. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm with the press. Well, then invite them over. I'm not causing any trouble. I'm sitting in here taking Sir, some photos. Do you have a card or any information that we uh, Do you? I do have a card. Okay, I'd love to have it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't identify myself because that could compromise the story we're working on. So. Well, then we are going to politely ask you to leave. Leave the public lobby Correct. that the taxpayers pay for. Correct. And, and under what? Now, you understand how due process works. Are you familiar with the due process? Yes, and I know. What is your that. rationale for removing a member of the press from your public lobby? Just asking that if you will please leave. If not, we're going to ask. We're going to call the police. Okay, and ask so them to you're asking me to leave a public lobby, and if I don't leave the public lobby, you're going to call the police. And what would the what would the crime be exactly? Because I preserve phone calls to law enforcement. This is our property now. We're asking well, well, I'm you sorry. to leave. Well, I had no idea this is private property. So who owns it? I said this is Yuma School District owned property. There you go, Yuma School District. Who owns Yuma School District? School District 1. Yeah, and who owns that? The school District 1. That's a strange name for the taxpayers. Sir. The ta- this is a public building. continue to do this all day. We're politely asking you to leave the premises. I'm politely asking you to leave me alone so I can do my job. Okay. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm sitting here taking some photos and video, and I'm going to leave when I'm done with my, with my job. When the police show up, I'm pretty confident they understand due process and how that works. A crime has to be committed in order to remove me from a public lobby. Come on now, Mikey boy. You know that's not how trespassing law works in any state. You don't need to commit a crime before you are trespassed. In fact, all you have to do is ask the person to leave, and if they don't leave, that's a trespass. It's as simple as that, you douchebag. Now I'm getting a bit tired of this guy's voice, and this video is over 45 minutes long. So let's just go ahead to when the cops show up, and uh, well, pretty much get him out of here. Because his uh, voice, his condescending attitude, and his, uh, well, ignorance of everything uh, regarding the law is just downright annoying. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Hello, sir. So what's your name, sir? Um, I don't give my name typically, but you call me Mike. Okay, Mike. I'll need your first and last name, okay, Mike? Do you suspect of committing a crime? Yeah, as right now, yeah, you're trespassing. They've asked you to leave. This is private property. This is not public property. This is in a public school district. A public school district, but this is private property, so you need to leave, sir. Well, hey, I'll leave, but who owns it? I need your name. Who owns the school district? You need your name. Right, sir, how is this a public... How sir, do... provide truthful name, and oh, then we'll be I, out of here. I okay? want to clarify this is public... No. Truthful name or you go to jail? One of the two. Really? Yeah, because you're not providing truthful name. I'm asking you three times now. So this Provide is... truthful name or you go to jail, sir. I, I told you my name is Mike. Mike This what? is a private Mike school what, district. Sir. Mike what, sir? Sir, this is a private school district? Sir, Mike what? I'm trying to clarify. Sir, can I have Mike? a supervisor here? No. I'm trying Mike to clarify. What? Mike what? Sir, I have every reason to believe this is a public school. This is it's, visitors it's welcome. Not, yes, but this is this this is private property. Yes, the school well, public is private, but it's not like you can't walk on a school and can't record either. It's still, you're saying you it's can't go private, on, a, on, private on, a, property. on a school? It's private property, sir. I need your last name, sir. No, let's go to jail. No, let's go. Need your last name, sir. Hold on one second. Let me grab my thing here. Uh, I, I, I'm going to put this back away here, and I'm going to grab something very carefully out of my bag. I don't want you panicking here. My name is Mike Norton, Norton, and I'm with KOT News. I'd like to know why you think this is a private Norton, how do you property. spell that? How do you spell that? 
How do you think you spell Norton? How do you spell it, sir? How do you spell it, sir? This is a public. How do you spell your name, sir? N O R T O N. This is a public lobby. Okay, they've asked you to leave several times here, and you have not left. Due process. You can't just ask them to leave. Dave, sir. Huh? I'm sorry. Dave, sir. Six thirty sixty eight. Again, this is a public lobby, sir. No, it is not a public lobby. It is a lobby open to the public. You moron. And it is a school safety zone, which basically means you're not allowed here unless you're a student or a parent or an employee. If you are none of those, then kick rocks. Oh yeah, and I'm sure the police will be more than happy to know that you gave them false information when you gave out that fake birthday right there. Okay. Call your supervisor. So I'm, 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 not calling the supervisor. I'm asking for a supervisor. So, so, we don't have to yeah. let, me, let me explain something to you, okay? Yeah. So this is a, a, a school district building, okay? You understand that. So just like, uh, it would be just like school property, right? You're not allowed to just wander on the school property. You understand that? Okay. I'm not allowed to wander on the school property. On the school property. The school can ask you to leave from school yeah. property. This is a public lobby of a school district. We're not, we're not okay. in that. We're not the elementary it, school. It is a public a lobby open to the public? Yes. yes. This is not a public lobby. I've identified government. myself as a member of the it's press. It's not a government building. This is, okay, it's a public lobby of a public school district. And it is the dictionary definition of a okay. government building. It is, it is a private. Who owns it? It is who private. Owns it? The school district owns it. Which is owned by who? The taxpayer. Yes, but it is still privately owned. This is shocking. The law okay. enforcement doesn't know this. All right. Uh, so are we going to jail then? You need to leave, sir. I need to leave. The, the you need public to lobby. Sir, you need to leave. They asked they ask you to leave. You need to leave. Help me understand the due process. Sir, you need to leave. Okay, I'll, I'll step right out here. I'm going to go over there. Can we leave the parking lot too? Or you can be on the other side of the street. You can be in the other side. Public lobby. We'll definitely be back with more cameramen. Uh, you need to teach you people a lesson, the difference between public and private. Have a nice day. And if I don't leave, I'll, I'll be arrested for trespassing. Have a nice day. If I ask you to leave, you need to leave. I'm asking you a question. What if you're arrested? to leave sir is you need it, to leave is that a is that a what? i'm asking you many I'm, times to leave the, no no this is still a property go on the other side of the street sir and then you'll be fine under, under penalty of arrest you can you can go off to, into the, the are you telling me you would arrest me sir you need right. to leave this is a public lobby so you need so, to leave so, sir the public it, lobby. lobby open to the public is not a public lobby oh, yeah there's, exactly. a, there's a difference lobby open to the public is not a public lobby all right these fucking scumbags i tell you unbelievable there you go access denied your pathetic, meaningless existence is not recognized. So you're trying to educate everybody on uh, the law and everything like that when you don't even understand what the school safety zone statutes are in the state of Arizona? And I thought you were a dumbass before, but now I'm beginning to change my opinion as of right now. You're a gigantic dumbass. You don't even know that school property is considered to be a school safety zone in which you are not allowed there unless you have reasonable business to be there, such as being a parent, a student, or an employee. Man, oh man, you are an incredibly dumb person. And an incredibly butthurt one at that. So I might as well go ahead and give you a tube of, uh, well, BHK's but hurt cream, guaranteed to cure any pain in your ass or your money back. But you know what? I don't make any money off this uh, but hurt cream. The elves don't even make any money. They just want to screw around with frauditors giving them giant hemorrhoids. So, yeah, you might want to be careful of that because if you apply it, then you might not actually be able to sit down for about a week or two because I have no idea what they put in this stuff. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? 
Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you playing cereal? Who's that?